Welcome. Hello, boys and girls. You caught me tying little Raggedy Andy's tie here. Now he's all set and ready to go. Are you? Welcome to story time at Graham Ruth's house. Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have you guys with me today. This is our first recording in such a long time. We have done so many things to rework it, to make it a lot more fun for you and me and for mom and dad. Shall we get started? Today, we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna start with some colors. So let's get started with this. Can anybody tell me what this color is? Hmm? Anybody, anybody? Let's see, if you guessed, Oh, let's see. Purple, you're right. Yay! Good for you. Good job. Our next one is, take a guess. What's this color? Mm, can I hear? Let's see. If you said green, you were right. Yay! <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Let's see. Who do we have here? Uh-oh. Another famous character. Let's see what's this color here. Can you see? Let's take a look. It's yellow. If you guessed yellow, you guessed right. Next one is Daisy Duck. Pretty girl. What's this color right here? Mm, let's take a gander. Orange. If you said orange, you are absolutely right. Very good. Almost there. Next color. What's this? What's Daffy Duck got going on here? Let's take a look. If you guessed red, you are absolutely right. Yay. Next one. Oh, this one's a fun one. <gasps> What's this color here? Huh? Any guesses? Okay, let's see. Blue. Very good. Almost to the end. Next one is another pretty one with Daisy Duck. Oh my goodness, what's that color? Hmm? If you guessed pink, you are absolutely right. One more to go and then we can start reading. Okay? All right, Daffy Duck gets the very last one. <gasps> can anybody tell me what color that is? Hmm? If you guessed Brown, you are absolutely right. And if you got all of those colors right, congratulations, you are turning into a very smart little cookie. Yay. So we're done with that little bit of fun. Let's get started with our read today. Boys and girls, today we are going to be reading Dr. Seuss's new beginner books. Have you seen my dinosaur? written by John Sturgeon, Sergil, illustrated by Joe Matthew. Shall we get started? Let's go. This looks very good. Here's the beginning of that. Uh-oh, this is going to be a very good story. Let's start. Have you seen my dinosaur? He's large, he's green, he likes to roar. He sometimes likes a little drink. So have you seen him in the sink? Mm. <sighs> or could he be outside the door? Please, have you seen my dinosaur? I have not seen your dinosaur. There's no such creature anymore. I have not seen him in the sink. He would not fit in there, I think. I know he's not outside the door. I have not seen your dinosaur. <gasps> I've got to find my dinosaur. He's never once been lost before. He's hard to miss. He's very large. He's larger than a river barge. He likes to take a nap at four, 
Please help me find my dinosaur. I cannot find your dinosaur. There's no such thing anymore. A dinosaur cannot be found from deepest deep to highest ground. From shore to ship or ship to shore, you will not find your dinosaur. I lost my dinosaur today. Do you suppose he ran away? Could he be hanging from a kite? Or hiding somewhere in plain sight? <laughs> he likes to watch me comb my hair. This morning though, he wasn't there. I thought that he was in the shower. Oh. He can shower for an hour. <laughs> he might be in some big desk drawer. Please, have you seen my dinosaur? You say you've lost a dinosaur? A strange thing to be looking for. A thing as tall and wide as that. You won't find underneath a hat. <laughs> If I were you, I'd get a cat, or a dog, or bird, or a small white rat. Eek. <laughs> Have you seen my dinosaur? It's tea time. It's his turn to pour. Now let me see. What have we got? A lynx, some minks, an ocelot. Plus two new, a kinkajou, camels with one hump or two. <laughs> a big black bear from Baden Baden. <laughs> a Scottish beastie from Culloden. A shaggy yak from Bhutan, an upside down orangutan, a fat wild boar from East Timor, but no, we have no dinosaur. There aren't any anymore. We do not have your dinosaur. <laughs> I need to see Professor Pugh. I'm Pugh, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a dinosaur. What kind is it you're looking for? His tail is longer than a mile. His neck is longer still. His smile gets wider every time I see him. You need to try a big museum. Is this the place where people say a dinosaur is on display? Sure is. Now let me think. It's tough because we've got a lot of stuff. <gasps> Look, statues made by ancient Greeks. To name them all would take me weeks. But not a single statue here is of a dinosaur, I fear. These paintings are all very rare. No photos, please. Stay back. Take care. <laughs> no dinosaurs in here, I'm told, although our paintings are quite old. Of course, they're dusted now and then, but trusted, well-trained, Handyman. Here, here is what you're looking for. Here's where we keep our dinosaur. It lived a long, long time ago, 200 million years or so. Hmm. Too 
hundred million years ago. No, 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 that can't be so. This isn't what I came to see. My dinosaur is five, like me. A year ago, we both were four. Wherever is my dinosaur? <laughs> I've got to find my dinosaur before he misses one meal more. But where a dinosaur might go is something no one seems to know. My mother did not have a clue. The fisherman did not come through. It stumped the whole police force too. I got no further at the zoo or when I saw Professor Q. The big museum had nothing new. So what, oh what am I to do? I think who I should ask is you. <laughs> have you seen my dinosaur? You have? He's where? Say that once more. <laughs> a dinosaur is a kid's best friend, but hide and seek is hard. The end. <laughs> he had and we had such a marvelous time trying to find out where his dinosaur went to. That's a tricky little one right there. <laughs> Big and green and tall. Green just happens to be one of the colors we were looking at today, right? Wow, this was such an amazing time and I enjoyed spending time with you. What I want to do is prepare you for next episode. We are going to be working on the alphabet. We're going to take it one letter at a time. And after that letter, we're going to have a marvelous, marvelous time to read another wonderful journey. Thank you so much for tuning in to Storytime at Graham Roots House. If you have not already, please have mom or dad like the subscribe button down at the bottom and you'll get all of the new reads coming up. Thank you so much and have have a great day. Be joyful, be curious, and be imaginative. Bye. Yay.